This is an 8 row repeat that's worked on 12 stitches. For my sample here, I'm using DK weight yarn on US size 7 needles. So before we start, I just really quickly wanted to talk about lace and yarn weights. As I said, this is a DK weight yarn, and you can see if you were to block this out, you would have a very nice open fabric, and I would definitely use this as an edging on a shawl, knit, and DK weight yarn. But you could also, of course, use lace weight. You could use sock weight, or you could even use sport weight. And I just have a little sample here of this stitch that I worked up in some lace weight yarn. And I used the same size 7 needles. And you can see that lace weight yarn worked on large needles produces a really beautiful, delicate fabric. So even though this is a lace stitch, you do not have to use lace weight yarn. You can use a heavier weight yarn if you want and still have a really nice fabric. Okay, so after you cast on your 12 stitches, you're going to knit a setup row. So you just cast on and then knit one row plain, and that's the only time you'll do that in the pattern. From then on, you'll be working the pattern as follows. For row one, you're going to slip the first stitch, and I'm going to hold the working yarn in front, and I'm going to slip the stitch purlwise, just like that, and then yarn to the back and you're going to knit five. And then you're going to knit two together. Yarn over, knit one, knit two together, and knit one. For row two, you're going to knit four stitches, and you're going to yarn over, knit two together, then you're going to knit two, make a yarn over, knit two together, and knit one. For row three, again we're going to slip our first stitch, then we're going to knit three, knit two together, yarn over, knit one, knit two together, and then knit two. For row four, you're going to knit seven, and you're going to yarn over, knit two together, and knit the last stitch. For row five, Again, we're slipping the first stitch. Then you're going to knit four. Yarn over, knit two together, knit one. And now here we're going to make a double yarn over so you're just going to wrap your yarn once and twice and then knit two. For row six, you're going to knit three and now your third knit stitch is going to be the f one of the strands of your double yarn over. So you have one here and two here. So you want to knit this one and slip that strand off the needle. Make sure you leave your other yarn over on the needle. And now we're going to purl and then you're going to knit two, yarn over, 
knit three, yarn over again, knit two together, and knit the last stitch. Row seven, slip the first stitch, then you're going to knit six, then you're going to yarn over, knit two together, and then knit the last four stitches. For row eight, we're going to start off by binding off two stitches. So I'm just going to knit the first stitch here, knit the second stitch, and then bind off. So there's one. I'm going to knit another stitch and bind off. Then you're going to knit two, yarn over, knit five, yarn over, knit two together, and knit one. And you would just repeat those eight rows for the pattern.